All right, if you uh, did not listen to our little preamble where uh, we videotaped Sean just finishing up the pre-design maintenance on the Avance 1501C and actually hooping the garment, um, then you should definitely watch that. I'm going to walk you through uh, just for a minute here the design that we're going to do, the number of stitches, how long it should take, etc. And I brought notes because there's a lot going on. Okay, so uh, what we're doing is actually a... Uh, um, someone we know was inspired by, uh, by a new crest in the British royal family. There was a wedding there recently. I don't know if you caught that on TV. But uh, there is now a new Duchess of Sussex, Her Royal Highness Meghan Markle. And, uh, and she was bestowed a new crest. And it's a great design. Sean, would you hand me that? Um, it is, um, Oops, how many stitches is it, Sean? About 195,912. So we did, a, we did kind of a test sew out. You may have seen that video as well. Just what the colors were on the machine. And we did it on a test piece of, uh, of linen uh, just to make sure it sewed out right. The digitizing is great. So now what we're going to do is we are going to run through it. Now it should take roughly four hours, I think. Uh, there's going to be bobbin changes in between. It's actually a 16 color design. Now the Avance 1501C is a 15 color machine. So uh, what we've got to do is at a certain point, uh, Sean has uh, programmed in a color stop. So when it goes to change colors at, at a certain point, we'll come in and we'll actually change out this last cone over here for the final color. So um, it's, a, it's a big design. It should be a real money-making design. The jacket here is from Sanmar, and it is an LST270 uh, women's letterman jacket. Uh, we bought one of these or two of these, so it cost us $23.99 uh, each wholesale. Uh, if you were to get a case of 24, it drops down to about 20 bucks. So, um, you know, the, the cost of the thread is not significant. The cost of the backing is not significant. Uh, when you add up the time and the cost of the jacket, this could be a $100 jacket all day long. Um, and, uh, and as a matter of fact, if you offer us $100 for it, um, we, we may sell. No, we won't. Uh, but really, uh, what we want to do here is to show you what a great machine the Avance is. We'll um, embroider out a, a very complicated, huge design that's a real money maker if you do it right. And, uh, and you'll get to see the Avance in action. So here we go, I'm just gonna press start and, uh, and we'll check back periodically. We're not gonna video four hours worth of this thing sewing, but we will uh, check in every once in a while and, uh, and show you the progress. So here we go. We're going to be running this at about 800 stitches? 850. 850, okay. All right, so one thing that we noticed uh, when we started embroidering is that we forgot to put the topping on. Um, Sean, why don't you talk about the topping that you're putting on there and why you're doing it? Um, this is basically known as top soluble or water soluble. Um, kind of looks like cellophane that if, uh, as soon as water hits it, it just dissolves. And uh, when putting on top of a garment, is you're putting on top of a garment that is stretchy, um, porous, like uh, like this jacket is, or a polo shirt, um, a knit shirt, terry cloth towels is really good to use. That uh, when you're done, you just rip off the excess, take a damp cloth, and just dab it on it. It'll dissolve, and it's got kind of a gluey substance where it'll adhere to the stitches to keep them nice secure to the fabric so that you get a nice, clean, smooth edge rather than a jaggy edge when it hits the fabric. Gotcha. So you can hoop this uh, with your design, or simply you can just lay it on top of the design. And then what I will do, since I'm just laying it on top, is just cut off the excess right here that I don't need. Set that to the side for my next job. And then once I'm ready to go, I just simply just press start.
So if you notice, we've watched a couple of um, position changes and color changes so far in the video. And this is why when you estimate how long a job is going to take, you can't just take the number of stitches and divide it by the, um, the speed you have the machine set at, because all of these different things take time. And you can also kind of get a little preview here that this is going to be an amazing design. All right, so we just replaced the bobbin for the first time, which is expected. We should do that two or three more times, I think, before the design is done. But here's one of the powers of embroidery, commercial embroidery as a business, and using one of the, these machines is that the design is gonna take a long time to embroider, but I don't have to stand next to the machine in order to make that happen. It is an automated uh, apparel decorating system. So for example, if I was doing manual screen printing, I would have to actually physically do something. If I'm doing cut vinyl, if I'm doing transfers, I'm actively involved on a regular basis in producing the design. With, with the Avance and with commercial embroidery on a larger design, you know, I can be in another room getting things done, uh, and if there's, a, if there's a problem, if there's a thread break or when the bobbin runs out, there's actually a little red light that pops up. I can see it. I can hear that the embroidery machine has stopped, and I know that I need to come back over and interact with the machine to get it started again. But in between, I'm doing other things. Maybe I do have a direct garment printer. I'm producing t-shirt designs, or I've got a dig digital heat effects transfer system, and I'm, I'm marrying transfers for later in the day, or I'm on the phone making money or doing accounting, etc. It's a great business that you can that you can produce a large volume of decorated apparel and not necessarily have to stand right next to the machine while you do it. All right, what you're looking at so far too is just under or just around 38,000 stitches. All right, you can see the design is really starting to take shape. And uh, it looks amazing. Sean, how many stitches are we in? 59,200. Okay, so not, not even halfway. No, we still have 148,000 stitches left. Okay. Uh, but it really does look great, look great, and we swapped the bobbin, that, that was our third time we just yep. did? Right. Alright, so once again, we'll come back in a little bit, and uh, as we get closer to, uh, to seeing the end. Alright, as you can see, we are getting farther and farther along here, it's just coming back to fill in some of the details. And we are at 119,000 stitches right now. Um, it's still a lot, and you guys can see there's another um, there's another change. Um, you guys can guys can see it's just going to be a great design.
All right, now we are getting down to the wire. I think this is the last color. There may be one more before we have to switch. Remember, this is a 16 color design. So we programmed in a stop. And the next time the machine stops, we will uh, show you Sean switching out that last cone, and then we'll finish up. We are almost done with our design. Now it is time to put on the 16th color. So what I'm going to do is take off number 15 and place it with the 16th color, which is the hot pink. And then what I'm going to do is tie a square knot uh, with these two threads so that I can pull it all the way through. Tie it tight, tight enough, it should go through the eye of the needle. Come down here, grab that thread, slowly pull it through. You can see it coming through the path. When it gets to the needle, just give it a little tug and grab my scissors. And we now have the pink thread threaded and through the eye of the needle. Our colors are already typed in. My next step is to just go ahead and press start. Now, Sean, if this was now you programmed in a color stop. Yes, I programmed a color stop on the color before yep. I wanted to change, so the machine would stop automatically if I wasn't in the room, so it wouldn't show the wrong color of where it should be. Right, so if this was an 18 color design or a 20 color design, then you would just do the same thing. You would program in a color stop, then you would trade out all of your threads at the same time. That is correct. Okay, great. design is going to look amazing. Now when it's done, all you would need to do is wet the back of the jacket to take the salvy off. Correct. Okay. Alright, so once this is done, what we'll do is we'll go get that salvy off, we'll unhoop it, and we will come back and show you what it looks like. All right, here we go. We've got a finished product here, and I figured it would be a little bit more impressive, not just to see it on the embroidery machine, but how you might display it in your shop or for your customer. So this is a crest of 195,895 stitches. Uh, we put it on a Sanmar LST 270 model um, Letterman's jacket. The cost on this one was $23.99 because we just bought one goes down to 20 bucks if you buy um, a dozen, you know, if you buy them by the case. Um, it did take quite a while to sew out, but I think it's a great testament to the kind of thing that you can do uh, with the Avance 1501C from Cold Essie. And I'm just going to zoom in here so you can get a great look. And um, as you can see, looks pretty amazing. All right, so um, just visit us at avance-emb.com. Um, give us a call at Coldesi. You can visit coldesi.com and get to the website that way as well. Let us know if you have any questions about the Avance.